for taking the time. We're situated at 130 Mirawai Valley Road in Waimauku. We're situated at uh, Dragonfly House and we're sitting here with Jill, uh, who's um, the owner of the property. Um, Jill and I had a discussion around February of uh, this year uh, around developing something which would be an art in the garden type concept. Uh, since that early um, acorn of an idea, it has grown into Kumu's Art in the Garden, featuring six award-winning gardens uh, and over a hundred artists. So, Jill, we're at the uh, at the jumping, at the leaping point of, of Art in the Garden. We are. Um, your garden's looking absolutely splendid, um, but it's, it's required a lot of work over this over this time period. How are you feeling? What do you think the garden's going to offer to people that are coming to the event? Well, I'm feeling really excited about it. I think that um, because we've got plenty of space, open green space, I think that will allow the artists to really um, display their, their wares um, to the utmost. And um, I think the garden is going to look fantastic too because November is beautiful, the roses will all be out and the pond hopefully will be full of ducklings and um, it's just going to be a wonderfully exciting event. For us it's been fairly traumatic, uh, lots of money, <laughs> doing all the things that we have sort of been putting off for so long and now we've, it's given us impetus to do it and I think that's wonderful for us as well. It's a unique setting. It's one of the very, very best gardens in this area and it is open to the public on the 7th and 8th of November, Kimu Art in the Garden. Tickets are only $15 per ticket and we would welcome your interest today. Give us a call on 412-9602 to book your tickets now. This garden, it's, it's been evolving in our minds for ever since we've been here, which is nine years. When we came, it was really just a big paddock. Um, very, very little had been planted, except some of the wrong trees. <laughs> um, so the ponds, two ponds were here, and we've, we've potted around every weekend, thinking, well, what will we do here? How will we work it? And we write down lots of things and dismiss most of it. But despite all of that, the garden has eventuated. Um, mainly because of Rogers Garden Centre. One, I love Rogers Garden Centre in Mangaree and the array of plants, it's just, it's opened up my mind to what I could do or what we could do in this area. And I must say that my husband Vern's been really accommodating. Um, the checks seem to go through with no, <laughs> um, with no sort of why, why did you do that again? Um, and I've had people help in the garden as well, uh, doing the heavier stuff because we're really just a bit past that now. Um, and it's going to be fantastic on this, this weekend and I'm so looking forward to it. Um, we love the garden, we love having parties. Uh, for my husband's 70th we found, or I found, a jazz group called uh, the Chicago Jazzmen and they played in the garden. We had a lunchtime party and it was just magic. We had people playing cricket and football and kids running around and I don't know why we didn't do this years ago, coming from a regular size section in Mount Albert to here where we had Bill and Ben mowing the lawns <laughs> and doing very little else, um, to this incredible setting which I just felt was just going to be something that was so important um, to us and to our children um, and to the area because you know, we've done heaps of planting and it's just, it's magic and I just love it.